Hello ladies and gentlemen, Skibal Grim here and welcome to Ingest to Mobile News! This is where we talk about the Arena Season character, the Challenge character, the chest that are in the store, the special offers and over here we got ourselves a sale. And it's a pretty tricky sale and that's why I'm not gonna edit this video, I'm just gonna record in one take and post it because the faster I do it, the less chances you guys buy something wrong and that's why we're gonna get into the Arena and Challenges and all that stuff but first of all we're starting with the store section because there's a lot of bullshit around here. Okay, so first of all, we got the International Women Day Chest, okay? So this thing is going to have some chances for Harbrick Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, pretty good chance for Silver Banshee. You're pretty much guaranteed to get a gold character from here, okay? So, out of the gold characters, this is shit, this is shit, this is okay if you're a new player, this is yet again okay if you're a new player, those two are also okay-ish if you're a new player. Like in the first one or two months of playing. This is also okay-ish if you're a new player. This is total garbage. Um, this is okay. This is okay. And those two are obviously very good. So the best drops you have for, from here is EPI and Heartbreak Harley Quinn. So those are some good stuff. And also those two are some good stuff. The other things, you're not really looking forward to them. So if you're a new player and you're in, uh, let's say, your... Uh, First uh, one, two or three weeks of playing the game, open this chest. This is a good chest for you. If you are past that point, but you're, you're still missing lots of shards on Power Girl, Silver Banshee, Heartbreak, Harley Quinn and Entangling Poison Ivy, like all four of this would be a good drop for you, then congrats, you got a little total of a 15% chance to get something good. So again, open this. But if you're past that point, don't open this, because if you're only looking for those two, there are some far better chests to get them from. Okay, now let's go back and take a look at the other thing. The Fem Force. It's also full of women, but you got a very, very slim chance of getting something good. A lot of crap is gonna drop from here. Again, the only two good drops from here are going to be Harbor Harley Quinn and EPI. Maybe, maybe Silver Banshee and uh, Power Girl. The only difference is pretty much that it has also some shards for Suicide's Harley Quinn, but she's, a, she's a, the worst legendary character in the game, so you shouldn't be looking forward to that. So honestly, I don't see any reason why we would open this chest, especially when it's at the same time uh, in the store with this. So again, if you're a new player, or if you fit the criteria of opening this chest, then open it. If not, don't open any of them. Now, getting into the League of Anarchy Joker chest that's on sale. This, this thing over here is going to have um, some chances here and there for some characters. Some of them pretty good. And... Uh, the highlight of it is going to be the feature drops, can we get to them, which are going to be those. You're going to get the 2% chance to get each one of the members of the League of Anarchy. Don't buy this. Buying this, and if you bought this already, was one of the biggest mistakes and biggest clickbaits in the history of Ingest to Mobile. Because this crap over here, this crap chest only has a 2 or 3% chance for those characters. And you might be like, well, or a 2% chance for each one of them. And you might be like, well, sick, well, that's the deal with all the chests in just to move all, not with the League of Anarchy. Because League of Anarchy has another chest, which is very similar to this, but instead of a 2% chance for each one of those characters, it has something, I don't remember quite exactly, but it's guaranteed to be above a 6% chance. That chest is Far better than this one, even if that one is not on sale and compared to this chest on sale. If you bought this chest for the League of Anarchy, you got bam bamboozled real hard, real hard, and you should have waited to see my video. This chest is a scam. Even though it's a 25% discount, it's going to be the bad Joker League of Anarchy chest. There's another chest which honestly costs 500 gems, which is more than this. But even at 500 gems compared to this one on sale, that one is far far better than this because you have astronomically hard chances to get League of Anarchy and you're pretty much guaranteed to get at least one League of Anarchy character in 10 openings. Unlike this thing. So yeah, do not, do not open this thing. And if you did, did you all play it unlucky? Okay, let's get into special offers and after that we'll get into the arena and uh, the other thing. Oh, we got another Azure Artifact Bundle. Let's go, actually. I thought there would be only one of them. Nah, I don't care anyway. But I'm glad they put those in. That's that's great. So Just like Superman, if you're looking for a Legendary and you want to drop the 100 bucks, he's not the worst one you could get, but look. 
There's Raven, there's Black Manta, there's Arkham Knight, Batman. Get those, don't get him. Don't get this. I mean, she's okay in Arena 9 Champions Arena, but useless in Raids and Soul Raids. The only offers for characters like this with Gears are EPI, Arbor, Harley Quinn, Multiverse Armor, Supergirl, and arguably less of Joker, because he kind of drops from Raid Drops. But if you do need Gears on either Cyborg or uh, just like Superman, you can get that. Uh, I can vibe with that. You can get the Gears. I don't mind it. Just like Cyborg Lucky Bag, if you want to throw $5 uh, out of the window, link to my last one channel will be in the description. We accept donations. I don't care what you do with that amount of money, but dropping it on this will not get you a Cyborg, so stop lying to yourself. That, that, that's, a, that's a pretty bad gamble. And again, this contains some Dawn of Apocalypse artifacts and stuff. If you want to boost for Dawn of Apocalypse, this bundle is fine, but... I would suggest you wait a bit so we get better bundles, because this is like the basic version of it, and usually they uh, put in the store somewhat of a more advanced version of uh, everything. So yeah, just wait on that if you're not impatient. If you look for a quick boost, that's fine. Now, got uh, Captain Cold here, Starfire here. Okay, let's get into that. Multiverse Captain Cold is kind of a trash character, to be honest. Uh, I mean... And he's very, very often in the arena seasons. This thing gives him a shield that uh, will get uh, destroyed as soon as he gets hit uh, with uh, a special ability. And it's not such a good shield. This gives him a, a more or more or less useless shield. And this thing gives him uh, a little bit of a damage boost. But again, there's no team that can make use of that efficiently. The only thing why I would want him is for the fact that he gives you armor pierce resistance for your multiverse characters. Which is just situationally useful in arena and champions arena. I mean that thing is good to have, don't get me wrong, but don't don't jam refresh for this one. He's he's not the one. He's gonna be here always, and you're going to be able to eventually get his ass. Uh where's Starfire? That's that's obviously the other challenge. Starfire over here, so yeah. This passive is great. I mean it makes her one of the best tanks in the entire game. Not really to that point, but it makes her a very solid tank. This doesn't do anything, this doesn't do anything, this th th does some dot damage, okay? This is gonna do some dot damage, but not a lot of dot damage. So, yeah, it's a fun character to use, a good tank in Arena and Champions Arena, but don't go gem refreshing for the challenge, because you're not getting that much out of it. And now for the last but not least thing, th this guy has been up for a while, just go ahead and farm his ass. By the way, a lot of people are telling me that they got uh, no gear drops yet. I got some gear drops. Not all of the gears yet, I got duplicates on those ones. But yeah, farm this dude. If you're really on a rush, gem refresh the third difficulty once. Nothing more than that. If you're not in a rush, just don't gem refresh anything, it's not worth it. But yeah, well, having said this was for this one, hopefully you didn't waste gems on the League of Archie chest. That would be a shame. And with that being said, I'll hopefully see you on the next one. Goodbye.